Hello folks, I hope you're staying warm. This is Engineer 775. It has been a very cold winter for all of us. <laughs> and I'm out playing in the water like an idiot. But anyhow, I'm finishing up a 48 volt. This is the first 48 volt um, pump system I've done uh, for a piston pump. I hope you can see, see the old Dankoff 48 volt. I have a 48 volt battery bank. I'm using a flex charge charge controller. Everything's 48 volts. I got a couple disconnects here. And I've adjusted this to run in conjunction in parallel with their existing house system. Had to build this little extension on their pump house to put the 48 volt DC pump in. And let me show you what we did in here. In here, we have a combination. Of, you've seen some of these um, where I've done three pumps in one well, and this is the same. I have a regular Franklin deep well submersible. I have a Sun Rotor solar submersible. And I have a simple pump. And I actually, in this time, I actually put the controls in the pump house because I had to run a long ways away from this location to find a good solar location. And uh, so what I mean by that is you can't see it, but the solar panel is way over in, kind of can see the back of it. That's the back of it over in that pasture over there. So I have four 285 watt solar panels, two to charge batteries, two to run the solar pump. And there, everything's wired in series, can bring about 85 volts open circuit to this location to do two things, charge batteries and pump water out of the well. So we've been adjusting. The other cool thing is I've been tweaking and getting used to adjusting the um, the piston pump in a way that it comes on before the grid pump comes on. But if they're using an excessive amount of water for irrigation, which they do at this location, and cows and chickens and everything else, then the grid pump will come on to assist the booster pump. But the way I'm set now, um, the piston pump will do most of the work, and it pumps 9.1 gallons a minute. And with 85 gallon of bladder tank and another 40 gallon of bladder tank, I think I can stay ahead of their demand. But if it can't, I'll have two pumps pulling, 2,500 gallons of storage backing me up. And that's what this this tank is. So 2,500 gallon. It's buried enough to keep all the plumbing from freezing. And it's a nice dark olive green, so no algae growth is going to occur in there. So um, that's about it. I might show you the solar array. Uh, we've put all sorts of irrigation lines. We're going to add mirror fonts for cattle. And but the, the, the mo most of the system is complete. We've got a series of yard hydrants all over the place. So it is. Uh, Time to go home and warm up by the wood stove. And uh, not a good day to play in the well, but, you know, had to do it. Okay, let me show you the solar array. Okay, and here's our solar array. Four 285-watt modules. The top two are for battery charging. The bottom two are for solar pumping out of the well. We've got a great spot here. We're getting sun around 7.30 in the morning. Arch is over in about 4.30 in the afternoon. So it's uh, just an awesome full power site. And, uh, and again, instead of putting the controllers, so usually you, you'll see I'll put a controller here, but because I'm so far from where I'm actually using the power, we just had a couple disconnects here, DC disconnects, and then I run entrenched over there. So a lot of trenching, a lot of getting across the roads, and missing all sorts of city water lines and power and phone and the usual funness and uh, about 1500 feet of PVC for cattle waters which will start tomorrow but that's separate and we got all sorts of spigots to gardens and uh, completely off-grid DC solar water pumping system okay if we can help you with one of those be glad to and uh, get you hooked up but this is fun it's fun when it's done <laughs> this one has been a bear ran into a few technical glitches and you ever have a job that just won't stop won't go away well this was one 
of those. So I could say today I am finished and it is working as designed. Okay, Engineer 775 signing out. Stay warm. Okay, just showing you a little bit of what goes below the well seal. We've got the uh, solar pump here, the grid pump, their standard one horsepower grid pump, and then the simple pump here, which is what I'm clamped off to with our well safety clamp. And then we just made a little rig with our come along so that we could hold um, the well pump up. So we're about to set everything back down in. So it's fun. There's three drop pipes and two sets of wires safety ropes and a lot to consider so you want to design for installation and removal and sometimes it's hard to figure out all those variables but um, we are about to set her in and hook her up to the controller which we have moved by the way into the pump house based on voltage drops and wire sizes and a couple of variables we're gonna change up our typical installation and put the controller nice and close and protected near the well. All right.